Hello students, this question is coming from the 2024 GCE paper 2 and this was question 4b. It was saying given that the matrix B is equal to 4x, negative 1 and negative 3, find the value of x for which the determinant of B is 22 and hence find the inverse of B. So ladies and gentlemen, without even wasting much of the time, please drop a follow and a subscription on both Facebook and on my TikTok as well as my YouTube channel. You can also join my online classes. So let's go. How do we work out the value for the determinant? Okay, so to do that, what we need to, to recognize here, ladies and gentlemen, is that once they give you the determinant as, as a, any number, for example, all what they want you to do is from the given matrix, find the determinant again. All right? So how do we do that? Major diagonal elements, minor diagonal elements. So it will always be major minus minor. So the product of the major minus the product of the minor. So we say determinant is equal to negative 3x multiplied by 4. We say minus. Please take care of the signs negative 1 times x. And this should give us what? 22. That's what they are trying to tell you. What is this times this for? We get negative 2 over x. Negative 1, negative times negative 1, again times x, we get positive what? x. This is equal to 18, 22. What is negative 12 plus x? Check out, these are same, these are like terms, but negative 12 is having a negative. Sorry, 12 is having a negative. So we'll subtract them and get and maintain the sign from a bigger number. All right, so we end up getting negative 11x, giving us what, 22. Then you can divide, you divide, you get x is negative two. That's the value of x. How do you know that you are correct? Try to get negative two and take it back into the matrix and find the determinant again and see if I'm going to get the correct one. If I put negative 2 here, it gives me 6. So what is 4 times 6? You get 24 minus negative 1 times negative 2, you get 2. What is 24 minus 2? You get 22 as your determinant. It means this one is correct. You always prove, please, prove. Next is find the inverse of B. When they say hence, they are, they, what they are meaning is that value of x that you found, take it back into the original matrix, get a new matrix, then find the inverse. So our new matrix happens to be 4, uh, negative 2, negative 1, and 6 now. After replacing 2, negative 2, sorry, where there's x, you get that. How do you find the inverse? So the inverse of b, which is b to the power negative 1, is equal to 1 over the determinant of B, okay, multiplied by the adjoint of what B. Please follow the right procedure. You can write this formula. You may even get a bonus here, a bonus mark. I always encourage students, show that you know what you're doing. Don't rush, okay? You are not running anywhere. You are, you are not in the, in, the, in the war with ECZ. All right, take your time. So what is our well, what is the adjoint? To find the adjoint, you swap the major diagonal elements, all right? Then you change the signs of the minor diagonal elements. That's how you find the adjoint for a two by two matrix. Okay, so that means let's go. So what you, what you are saying here is the one over the inverse, the determinant was twenty two. Remember, so the adjoint is we swap this. So we have 6 there and 4 comes here. Then these, they change signs. They don't swap signs, please. These, they swap their positions. But these, they change signs. Careful how you use those two words. This one changes its sign to positive, becomes positive 1. This one changes its sign to positive. Then we need to multiply throughout by 1 over 22 throughout which will give us a fraction of 6 over 22, 2 over 22, 1 
over 22 and 4 over t 22 to give us this as the inverse. Now, where you can reduce, please reduce as 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 simple as possible. 2 can go into 6 3 times. It can go into 22 11 times. And I know that 3 can't go, 11 can't go into 3. It would be a decimal number. So I'll leave it like that. I know that 2 can go into 2 itself. It's 1 over 2 there, 11. This one just okay. Don't have even to temper it. 4, well, 2 can go there, right? Give me 2 over 11 as the inverse. Just like that, you've got all your two marks. Okay? So avoid losing marks anyhow by jumping and doing things of your own. Understand, then show that you know. Put the method. Alright? Show the procedure. Remember, they, they, they even caution you. If you don't show the procedure, you'll be, you are going to lose marks. But you, try, you decide to ignore that. All right. It's not a matter of you knowing. Show that you know. Show the right procedure. Okay.